there will be a zoom talk tomorrow that is 20th october and uh, those who are interested can check the description box for details our sense of separate existence the sense of individuality is a piece of fiction the problem is that we live in an era where the sense of separateness or individuality is reinforced and strengthened by all the messages that are floating around so we are told that we need to improve the self this individual we need to achieve this achieve that we need to form big goals in life we are told that this entity is broken and it needs to be fixed through methods through techniques through different ideas through philosophy and all that is fine but eventually the existence of the separate self or the belief in one's individuality is by nature suffering so i'm going to read a couple of lines from my book the end of me and my story our sense of individuality comes from memory impressions therefore the thought that you are so and so is an identification in mind every aspect of our material existence comes from memory which creates an image it creates an identity and through layered abstractions we think of ourselves as separate individuals living in a world of names and forms it is not a question of right or wrong desirable or undesirable but what is if somehow all your thoughts were wiped out what would remain the pure being it is watchfulness knowingness or call it whatever you like it's impossible to put it in words now whenever i get questions where where i'm told that people are troubled by their thinking mind by the obsessive thinking and and they and they desire that the mind should stop or at least reduce the thinking so that they can live comfortably peacefully and it is a genuine concern because this incessant thinking that goes on in the mind actually hampers our creative potential however one needs to examine the totality of what one is of what this image that i call myself as me is and also what story is it attaching to underneath beyond those emotions and thoughts that trouble us so we are quick to identify emotions because sensations immediately produce a separate subject that is me and i say that i am angry i am upset i am sad i am depressed i am anxious my mind is running 24/7 and i cannot live peacefully my mind is completely completely in turmoil and i get swayed into thinking and that troubles me and then we try to find a solution to quiet the mind however we do not examine our mind completely we always examine the mind from a filtered perspective that is we are attached to an outcome of self improvement or betterment so we tell ourselves that through introspection through thinking i may be able to change my thoughts that are troubling me so i exchange one set of thoughts for another set of thoughts but thinking by itself is draining for the mind is draining for the body it is a burden on the body because it makes the body tired 
but we never question our traditional structures we never question as to why we are following one particular line of thinking for example we take it for granted that i have been born in this lifetime where i have to just get a good job get married have children take care of my parents in the old age be uh be socially more active take care of my health get a new car maybe purchase a home we are completely tied up with all of these concepts and we all of these thoughts this stem from this self centered perception that is me now i'm not saying that we should not have these what i'm saying is just examine what is your relationship with these thoughts is the prospect of having the perfect relationship or the perfect property or the perfect car or having a perfect job creating you stress and anxiety what are your expectations so all of these thoughts are interlinked and then they create a charged entity that we call as me but you know we try to find solution externally we go outwards and generally that is done by avoiding what is and venturing into the mind's fantasy which is what should or should not be what should or should not be is the mind's fantasy it has nothing to do with what is the situation the way it is right now let's say you may be stuck in a horrible job or let's say you may be stuck in a bad relationship that is the situation as of now now take whatever action you think is required in that given moment this teaching this message does not tell you what to do it will not tell you to leave the job or leave the relationship what it tells you act on the basis of what the best that you know now and then leave the outcome the outcome may be what you prefer or it may not be at all what you prefer the acceptance of both scenarios the acceptance of fulfillment of one's personal preference or not or acceptance of the opposite brings peace that is how the mind does self introspection and creates an order first and not through meditation not through meditation as an activity so setting the mind in order means examining your relationship with your own thoughts with your own concepts beliefs and your ideas and this is what i point to in this book of mine the end of me and my story and it challenges some of the traditional concepts that we have taken for granted we have taken that that blueprint that has been handed out to us is perfect and it has to be followed we do not challenge it but my point is that just examine that and examine how it is playing out in the life of people who you think are your role model maybe your parents they may advocate a certain blueprint get a job buy a property buy a car get a family do this do that but are they really peaceful and happy that is the question is their relationship with themselves and with people around them harmonious that is the question so we are quick to take information we we quickly believe when somebody tells us that this is the way things have to be done but we do not examine things for ourselves and that is that is where self knowledge is paramount it's supreme because self knowledge just points inwards it examines its own beliefs the mind's own belief now if all of those beliefs were just wiped out let's say and you do get a glimpse of that when you wake up in the morning because your mind is relatively quiet at that point and you can feel a sort of bliss well some of you may not be experiencing that if the mind has been overactive during the night and the evening 
before you sleep then you will experience turbulence the moment you get up but for some people there may be moments where you feel restful that is when the mind is quiet so coming back to my point it has to be examined as to what are my associations leading me to so if everything is let's say wiped out what remains what remains is pure watchfulness which is completely detached from what is going on it simply is the impersonal observation that is happening through the through the impersonal awareness and it is not separate there is no separation of this consciousness with the content that is being observed this simple concept frees us from a lot of pain and suffering although life is suffering and the there is no no avoiding of pain in life but with this awareness tapping into this awareness which is not personal but impersonal one sees that all of things that are making us run around continuously do this do that achieve this achieve that it just lightens that load in fact at some point it just eliminates that load completely and then one becomes more spontaneous more alive so as to speak one becomes more responsive towards life rather than more reactive towards things that are happening around so it is one's inability to accept things as they are that produces a reaction an emotional reaction like anger jealousy hatred malice spite but when the impersonal observation happens things are seen without judgment without any effort of the mind to modify what is happening there so perceived there so i'll just continue with the last paragraph one can only rest in this natural state and be it can't be proved because it's not an object separate from the subject so the the consciousness that is the impersonal witnessing is not separate from what is being observed because there is no separate observer of anything we can prove the existence of only that which is apart from us you are it the mind body abstract is simply the interplay of apparent con- contracted energies in reality nothing is happening when all the concepts about what seems to be happening are gone and things are simply seen for what they are there is an experience of peace of restfulness of watchfulness which is the breakdown of the subject object split that means it is the breakdown of the experiencer and the experienced and all there is is pure experiencing now notice this let's take a very simple example let's say anger so many of you so many of us in fact experience anger i also experience anger sometimes but when anger is there is there a separate observer of the anger if you take that split second slice that split second of anger what you will see is that you become the anger you are the anger you are not separate from the se- the, the, the perceived entity me is the emotion is the charge is the anger is the irritation it's only later on that a parallel thought comes up which is the conceptual thought me and says i should not be angry i should not be anxious why because that is not seen as good in the society because then i will perceive myself as nuisance to this society therefore i go on this path of curing myself because i think i am broken so this is the biggest misconception that i am separate from what is out there 
the individuality is a myth and no matter how much we strengthen this individual the fundamental nature of individuality is suffering to give up one sense of individuality is living harmony in the world with what is otherwise there is no possibility for any harmony for any peace so i just wanted to share this uh, small message with all of you and i would like to thank our patreon member vinny for your generous support on patreon your patreon contributions help a lot so those of you who can feel free to check out the page and contribute if you feel like even otherwise the message of peace will continue to reach you may you all have a great day